What's better, a mobile app or a mobile site? And what's the difference again? Government agencies are trying to figure out how to adapt and thrive in this new normal of mobile technology. Mobile stuff is kind of important because the number keeps growing and growing in terms of people who have access to mobile devices. Almost half of American adults have smartphones. 61% have a laptop and 18% have a tablet. When state and local IT leaders were asked about their plans last spring, 39% of them said that their agency plans on deploying some type of mobile app within the next year. Back to the question, mobile site or mobile app? If your agency doesn't have a mobile strategy, this is one of the first things to think about. Let's explore mobile apps. So an app gives you a shiny new icon on your mobile device. Don't underestimate shiny things. Mobile apps can really use the features within your phone to enhance the experience, like the camera on your phone, the location service, and the audio recording devices. For things like that, it's really helpful to have an app. The huge downside to apps is that you really have to have an app for both iPhone and Android, or else you're excluding a lot of people who can't get to your app. Now let's talk about mobile websites. Some mobile sites have a special web address, like m.yourgovernmentsite.gov or mobile.yourgovernmentsite.gov. Keep in mind that addresses like that are super hard for people to remember, so the best practice is to auto-detect what type of device they're on if they're on a mobile device, shoot them over to your mobile site automatically. Now the best, best, best practice is to use a little thing called responsive design. It's the same content from a desktop computer to a laptop to a tablet to a smartphone. You basically have media query breakpoints at different sizes. So you have different versions of the same content using the same code. It's kind of awesome. One example is alabama.gov. They took home first place recently at the best of the web competition by the Center for Digital Government. One of the things the judges loved is that the site uses responsive design. So which is better, mobile app or mobile website? I say first focus on responsive design. Then if you have the resources available for apps, go for it. But make sure that you're developing for both iOS and Android. And make sure that you're providing something of value. Also, never launch anything that you don't have the staff and resources to maintain. Nobody likes a broken app. For more on how to develop mobile style sheets, you're going to want to check out alistapart.com. And for super techie how-tos, go to mobile.smashingmagazine.com. One more thing, go to govgirl.com for a quick tip about making mobile microsites. Tweet me with hashtag govgirl and let me know about your mobile strategy. And I want to know what you think, which is better, mobile apps or mobile sites. Oh, another one more thing, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. And follow me on Twitter. And that about does it.